Hi, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Leilani Love. And today I'm gonna basically start from bare face and bring you guys this beautiful mermaid glittery. It's supposed to be St. Patrick's, but it's we calling it mermaid, okay? But yes, can we get into this monochrome block? You know, it's green St. Patrick. You, you know, you know you wanna see it. Make sure you subscribe before we start the video. Subscribe, like, and share, okay? So you can be down with the love squad and be the first to know when I drop videos, exclusive content, and other perks, okay? So yeah, I also offer discount codes to people that subscribe to my channel, so yes. Thank you guys for watching and let's get into this beat, okay? <sighs> Glitter cut crease. Like, yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is a glitter cut crease video. I'm not going to say tutorial because I'm not teaching you how to do it. I'm explaining my process and what I went through. And the reason I'm saying that is because <laughs> it was a journey. All right. This is like maybe the third time I've did a glitter cut crease on myself. I don't do these often and I watch somebody do it on YouTube and I'm like, okay, let me try this method. Okay, first things first, whenever I do any makeup, I like to start with my brows and do my eyes before I do anything else. Um, so I've already used a uh, eyeshadow palette to fill in my brows because I don't have my favorite brow pencil with me. Um, and I'm just going to take this concealer. This is a concealer by Unique Touch. Um, you guys may have heard of it. I think it's on Instagram. But it's very, very full coverage. It's very smooth. I just fell in love with this concealer like while I'm using it right now. Like it literally just is so smooth and it feels like butter. Like, And it spreads so far and I just love it. Um, it is full coverage though and a little goes a long way so i did feel sometimes like i was applying a lot because i'm used to using other concealers and i had to kind of you know back down and realize that okay girl this thing is going to spread a lot so if you do use this concealer you know just be mindful of that um since i'm going to be doing a colorful eye look i'm going to use my concealer and bring it down and use it as my eyeshadow base that's just one hack that i use if you want to use eyeshadow base, that is completely fine. You know, that's just a preference, whether you use eyeshadow base or using concealer as your eyeshadow base. Once I have that down and I have put all the product in and make sure it's spread out evenly, I'm going to take my setting powder and set my eyes. This is just going to give me a clear, clean platform to make sure that when I do my glitter cut crease, that it's popping, okay? Now... I'm going to be going in with my James Charles and Morphe palette. I'm going to do my outer eye with the warm colors just because I want the warm to kind of contrast the green, which is a cool color, and just make it pop more. So I'll be using warm and cool colors in this look. So as you can see, I started with the warm colors in the upper brow area, and I'm going to be using some greens and dark blues to kind of define my crease. This is going to make sure that when I do my glitter cut, you know, when I cut and use the glitter, that it has some depth. So I have hooded eyes, and when I do eyeshadow, like I have to... I don't know how to explain it. Like I have to make sure that I give myself more of a crease instead of like just defining the hood. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining the right guys, but it's like when you look in the mirror and when you look down, your eye shape is more defined like when you look up. So I'm a person that like when I look up, I have like a little hood. So as you can see that line, um, yeah. So that kind of affects me making my glitter cut crease. So that's just something else that you might want to take into account ladies. Here's another hack for a glitter cut crease. I like to start using the eyeshadow, I mean, not eyeshadow, the concealer, put a little dot at the front of my eyelid where the waterline is and look up and that's gonna tell you how, how high you should take your glitter cut crease. Now this can change based on how much glitter you wanna put, how intense of a look you want, but, and it also depends on your eye shape. 
when I open my eye, I want to still be able to see the glitter. Some people only want glitter on the top of their lid and only be able to see it when their eye is looking down. So it's all a matter of preference, all a matter of the look you're going for, the shape, everything. One thing I can definitely tell you to learn from my mistake is plan your lookout. Like, don't be frustrated like me at this point because I didn't have nothing mapped out. I was just improvising. I started out with, like, this fine glitter and it just wasn't given. And then I got frustrated with the glue that I was using. And to, all I'm going to say is plan out what you're going to use and what you gonna, how you're going to do it. Just, girl, just learn from me. Learn from me. So one thing that frustrated me a lot was, like, <laughs> getting the glitter on the brush into my eye without like wasting it everywhere like <laughs> this just turned out to be like a total mess but the outcome was totally worth it and I figured out that you know just put a little setting spray on my brush dip it into the glitter and then it sticks to the brush with no problem so yeah solve that but yes going in with my favorite spray my favorite primer soft focus glow drops and the Mario Badescu Aloe Chamomile Lavender Spray. This just helps give my skin a nice juicy base. Make sure my skin is very hydrated and plump before I start my makeup, which is a very important key. If your face is hydrated and moisturized, your makeup should last as long as you set it properly, okay? So these glow drops said to dab and pat it in, but you know, I'm just doing whatever. Don't rub it because that's what makes it like peel off. So now I'm going to be going in with that same concealer and just doing my highlighted areas. You know, just a basic beat. Y'all don't need a tutorial for this part because you already know. If you need to see any of my other makeup videos, feel free to check out my channel. I have tons of makeup videos on how I do my foundation. Um, I'm probably going to be doing an updated makeup routine because I have kind of added a few little tips and tricks that I wasn't doing before. But yeah, get into this beat though. Like, seriously. Today I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Shade Sticks for my foundation. This is the shade Namibia. So this is definitely a warm, darker color for my complexion. But it's totally fine because I'm going to be highlighting and I'll even it out with my banana setting powder and it's just gonna all balance out. One thing I can tell you about Juvia's Place is it's very hydrating, it's very, like, it's, it's moist, it's dewy. You have to set this. When I say set this, like, you gotta, you gotta set, set this, okay? So your face don't go nowhere or you get all of your clothes because yes, this stuff, it, it do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so super set your face. Um, I do know a couple of girls that use ma uh, Milk of Magnesia on their, before they do their makeup. I'm thinking about doing a video on that because I have never actually tried that way of doing my foundation and I'm curious to see what it looks like. All right guys, so this is the final look and I'm just loving how it came out. This is like my third time doing glitter cut crease on myself in my life ever. So I'm proud of myself. Um, I see areas of improvement that I could work on, but for the most part, like, can we get into it though? Like it was beat, like seriously, like not for real. If you guys enjoy this look as much as I do, make sure you leave some comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, okay? Feel free to always leave comments, suggestions, and um, let me know what you guys want to see in other videos. Um, and I've said this in like a couple of other videos at the end. I am always trying to find out what you guys like. I'm seeing that people on my channel respond more to hair and makeup videos. Um, the fashion show thing, you guys are kind of like, hmm, nah, we don't want to see that. So I will continue to do hair and makeup transformations. And if you want to see more of those, I would tell you to check out my TikTok because I don't always have time to do like a full YouTube and do editing and all that. 
So with TikTok, I can kind of just go through, do what I'm doing, record, chop it up, and it's a little bit easier. But yeah, I just, I'm just loving this. And this is a custom unit, custom color unit from my collection. I will leave the link down below. You know, you can always order a custom unit for me. Um, you can always check out my website for wigs that I've already designed and that are available. And yeah, so let's get into this though. Like it's definitely giving St. Patrick's, it's definitely giving green, it's giving mermaid, like it's giving, it's giving, it's giving, okay? Yes, thank you guys so much for joining me today and yeah. Make sure y'all tune in because your girl going to be back with some more videos. I've got to start doing more YouTube videos, guys, because you guys like it and then I like it too. So, yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace and love.